Well, oftentimes in sports, we see injuries that make us cringe. Marcus Lattimore, Kevin Ware in the NCAA tournament. Although they're difficult to watch, those injuries are seldom life threatening. Back in November, a hit that looked just like any other football collision left DJ Hayden fighting for his life. Hayden now has countless medical personnel and his own will and determination to credit recovery that defies all odds. With the third pick, 28, 927 the pick. pick. In the NFL draft, the Houston Tech Green Bay Packers, Carolina Panthers. He almost died on the field. I remember all the way from when I got hit to the part when they put the uh, anesthesia on my, uh, on my face. Defensive back DJ Hayden taken by ambulance to Memorial Hermann this afternoon after getting hurt during practice. During practice. We knew that it was internal injury. As far as the severity, we had no idea that it was as severe as it was. The way the vein set up is three layers to it. And the first two layers, like the strong layers or whatever, they were gone, like they were tore. And it was just that thin layer that was really holding, holding it up a little bit. As far as the vena cava, I mean, that's a major blood spot in your body. I don't think that thought ever crossed any of our minds. They cut me from a little bit, like right here, all the way down below my belly button. And they opened me up, and they saw that it was my uh, vena cava vein. It was tore, so Dr. Alvarado stitched me back together, sewed me back sold up. Sewed me back up. Sewed me back up. Me back up. Many taps all the way around there, all the way around back. Here's a person that some even said he had 3% of chance of living, and now he's going to be living out a dream that maybe 0.3% of people even get to entertain. I've never seen a guy go from close to death and then be drafted six months later. You're going to go one, two, three, two. DJ Hayden's recovery from literally on the brink of death, I mean, that's how close it, it came. I can't put my finger on anything that I've ever seen quite like this. To now being considered an early round draft selection is amazing. He took a hit, he almost died right there on the field, and now we're talking about him potentially going at the end of the first round. It wouldn't be completely out of the realm of possibility for DJ Hayden to go from lying on a gurney to the first round. It'd be an amazing uh, transformation, but it's completely possible. When I got to the hospital, I used to like, I used to like cry like almost every day and just be like, why me? Why this happened to me? I look in the mirror, I'm all skinny and stuff. Got this big scar, hand messed up. I'm just like, there's a whole bunch of stuff just going through my head. It just seems and feels like a Disney movie, but it's absolute 100% legitimate. His story is gonna to be told far and wide and it's gonna be used as an example for a long time about what kind of adversity you can come back from. Not only it's just his ability within his own body, but also from a medical standpoint, what was able to be done with him from a rehab standpoint was phenomenal. I remember him when he came uh, right before Christmas. I mean, we barely could get him across the room without him having to sit down. I'm not gonna lie to you. I, I think that at first we took DJ on us, let's get this guy healthy, let's get him to have a productive life, to be able to, whenever he has kids, to lift his uh, son over his shoulders. To see him frail, to see him start working out, to start eating, and to move around really well, I mean, that means a whole lot. He never missed a workout, came here twice a day. Just push me, push me, push me, telling me to try to meet my, my uh, max potential. Real good guy, I love him. After a couple of weeks, we saw, you know what? We have somebody special here, and we're gonna uh, continuously progress, and then if we don't have any hiccups, I, I think the sky's the limit. Sky's the limit. Sky's the limit. Line, this could be a pick six for Hayden. Inside the 30, and he will take it to the house. Let's get to the fact of the matter here. He's a great football player. His 2011 film is off the charts. My field can speak for itself. DJ Hayden has a combination of size, he has speed, he played in a conference where they throw the ball a lot. He can do everything you're looking for and he can tackle and make plays. He went to the combine. There was no way you could talk to him and not be blown away by his personality, his intensity, his enthusiasm, his determination. He had never gotten hurt. 
I think DJ Hayden's name would have never been off the radar. It would have been on the radar this whole time. He had a great pro day, in which he ran in four threes. And if you got a corner who's over six foot and he runs in the four threes, everybody's going to check him out. Frankly, DJ Hayden is back. So the people at the hospital that had him in surgery 45 minutes after it happened, it's just incredible what they were able to do. I'm thankful that they did their job as, as well as they, as they, as they were trained to, and I'm just, I'm just truly thankful. I just want to say thank you so much for saving my baby boy. I am forever in your debt. <laughs> so big hug. <laughs> Sweating bullets. I thought oh, I was gonna be. Goodness. I was cold too. I remember being ice cold. cold. Ice cold. Ice cold. Coldest skin I've ever touched. That was still alive. But I really do appreciate y'all and everything you did. Now, obviously, God had had them here for a reason too. So I'm just happy to be here, and I just want to thank them again. And uh, I really appreciate it. I really do. Just didn't see it coming. Looks like an everyday hit, you know. Is that all? Yeah, they only it's like a five, to ten second. It's you like kidding a... me? <laughs> yeah, you need to hit the weights a little bit more. The only way that he's gonna know to get over that fear is when he takes that first hit. Once he takes the first hit, he'll be fine. Probably first interception. That'll, that'll probably really, that'll really do it. And I think that's why DJ resonates with so many teams, that he is saying, look, I love the game this much. I practically died on the field for it. Now I'm ready to play at a different level. Give me a guy like that over some of these corners. They all want to be Dion. somebody just does man coverage. Give me a guy like Hayden. That's why I think he could slip into the first round. He's definitely a fighter and he's very determined and he's going to work hard for any and everything that he wants and so far he's succeeded at it. I think about those moments sometimes, just me laying there, but uh, I don't know, I, I think about it, but I just, I just praise, I just praise God that I'm here.